I'm making a video on how to chamfer the edge of something that you're gonna thread. Um, this is really from my own personal reference because I, I don't do it all the time and I keep forgetting. Uh, but this method that does work and uh, you know we use it all the time on our machines and um, I just kind of forget sometimes so I'm just gonna do it up real quick and um, there's you know if you if you look around online you're gonna find a million different videos and different techniques on how to do this. Um, they all get really confusing and really long, so this is just a really quick one. Um, and then if you're going to do any threads for like 3D printing, I would not even bother doing it this way. If you're going to 3D print, go to create, make a thread, um, set, set it to model, um, size is good, designation is good. Set the class to class 1A. That's a looser thread, um, and it it's just if you're going to 3D print, you want the loosest thread possible. And um, select uncheck full length. Just drag it. So you just got a little bit of meat right there. Doesn't really even matter. Hit OK. And then let's create a chamfer. And then I just go the full, the full chamfer, whatever I can get away with. So 0.05 is pretty close to what we're already going to do. Hit OK. And now you can see you've got a nice smooth transition from your chamfer to your threads. So let's get, let's undo that. And so this is for, I'm going to do a chamfer, I'm going to do a chamfer on a 3 8 16 uh, bolt that we're making out of aluminum. This method works really good and it's quick and easy to do. So um, always make sure you got your blank body because um, you're going to need that to program the um, to program the part in a lathe and then let's do our chamfer first um, you need to know a little bit of information you need to know your major diameter and your minor diameter um, so our major on this one is going to be 0.375 and our minor is 0 0.307 that gives us a 0 0.068 and then you always want to multiply that number by 0.61343 and this goes for everything always 0 0.6 0 0.61343 that gives you 0 0.0417 and you know it's, it's, it's like I'll just round up usually so I'll go to so my chamfer is going to be a 0 0.042 so let's put our chamfer in point oh four, oh, point 0.042 done now let's model the thread just to um, see what it looks like. I'm going to set the class to 2A. Hit OK. Let's look, give it a side view. And that's going to be perfect. If you kind of get in there, you can see that the chamfer kind of mirrors the uh, minor diameter a little bit. So it's a nice, smooth starting. It, it'll start the threads really nice and smooth if you do it this way. And it's kind of the same for metric, too. Um, for metric, if we're, let's say we're going to do um, like a M10 by 1.5. So that would be the major is a 9.968 minus 8.344 minor. That comes out to point of 1.642 times 0.61343. So we've got 0.996. So just go 0.9. We'll just we'll transition that to 0.997. And I already had it in here. That gives us a minor dam or a chamfer diameter of 0.039, which is basically like 0.04. So it's basically the same. And that's a really quick, easy way to do your thread chamfers.